Good afternoon, everybody. And today we're gonna come to you from a different location, my car. Um, so I wanted to touch base with you now because this was fresh on my mind. Uh, basically handling self-doubt. This is a running channel and, um, you know, for better intents and purposes, it might as well expand into life because a lot of the things that happen during running, well, a lot of the lessons that we learn out there, we can transmit to life as well. And so this one came up to me recently and basically I'm going to address it now. So self-doubt, whatever the situation might be, because you're certainly entitled to it, um, is something that you can almost be grateful for. And here's how I came up with that. So you put yourself into situations, you volunteer, you um, register, you show up, you know, you're really putting yourself out there. It kind of goes back to another saying that I have that is, if you don't want to get disappointed, simply don't wake up, right? Don't get out of bed. But we do wake up usually, and we do get out of bed usually, and sometimes we try to do things, and sometimes those things don't work out. Well, Keep getting that and sometimes going forward you might have a little bit of self-doubt. Well, how about this for a frame of mind? Maybe to reimagine this whole business. If you didn't have yourself in a position of risk taking, of putting yourself out there, of showing up where the chances of some kind of failure or almost failure or misses or near misses or missed times or miss something do not starts or like course whatever you name it then the self-doubt wouldn't have happened in the first place okay that self-doubt that you're feeling those negative emotions that negative self-talk it's it's a whole thing you know, and that can easily be wrapped up and, and compartmentalized. And once it's let loose, it could easily disintegrate your everything. Well, take it for what it is. Where is this coming from? Where did it begin? And why is it there in the first place? The only reason you're having self-doubt is because you tried to do something. You showed up. You put yourself in that position to receive the self-doubt going forward about the thing that you did. I hope that's making sense. Here's an example. I signed up for an ultra marathon in 2022. I had that time from the registration to actually doing it. During that time, I had a ton of self-doubt. All of a sudden, the training was very, oh gosh, like palpable. Like I was very in tune with um, the hills that I was climbing. And it was like, man, I'm just not like nailing this hill that I used to be able to do. It's because I wasn't thinking about it. Or I didn't get this mile in this certain amount of time that I was hoping for today. Because previously, I wasn't thinking about it. It wasn't a deal. It wasn't an issue. Uh, and then as the days crept closer, I finally like got a hold of this thing and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I had not signed up for this ultra marathon, if the time like leading up to the ultra marathon hadn't been there, then this self doubt, this particular narrative that's going on, it wouldn't even exist. Not unless like there's some weird like, like fantasy world, but that's not what we're doing. The only reason it came up in the first place is because you put yourself into that position. And this can be trans, like third, this whole concept into anything that you can think of. I'm pretty sure of it. Whether it's your school or your career or anything that you're putting yourself out there for. Guys, we are taking risks. And that's the whole thing is don't be risk averse, be risk tolerant. And you know, make calculated risks and go ahead and think it through think it through of like what's the best outcome what's the worst outcome you know go ahead and imagine those things and then step back and be like okay can we handle that yes then proceed forward 
and you're going to wind up somewhere in, in the middle. Um, but you're never going to know unless you do it. All right. That's what I got. Handling self-doubt. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Got the sun in my eyes. I'm going to go to Walmart. Have a wonderful day.